Greetings, programs. My name's Wretch, and I'd like to welcome you to Hoven, the Sage's Spinnel. I realized I hadn't had a traditional styled RPG on the channel in quite some time, and I met the creator of this game, Bradley Illum, also known as Frostburn243, in at SGC this year, and he was showing off the game, and he let me know that it was on uh, Steam Greenlight right now. So I figured I'd get a copy for myself and check it out. Now I don't know if this is going to be a full playthrough of the game, but I'm at least going to have enough episodes to show you guys the game, the battle mechanics, some of the story. And if we don't do a full playthrough, you'll at least get to check it out. And if you like what you see, go ahead and vote for it on Steam Greenlight. I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description below. I'm already really digging the music. It's got a cyberpunk vibe to it. But that was done by Colton Bone, also known as DJ Enob. So thank you guys very much for all the work that you've done on this game. And let's go ahead and get started. We'll start a new game here. A Frostburn 243 production, indeed. Would you like to go over the controls? I think the controls are pretty standard, so we'll just go ahead and say no on that. And now, our story begins. Father? Father, where are you? Father, where did you go? Here, my son. I am here. Where? I can't see you, Father. My son, it's up to you. You must find it, my son. Find what, Father? Seek me, son. Seek me and you will find it. Seek me and find what I could not. But, but Father... Bradley! Wake up, Bradley! Hmm? Oh, there's our hero. That dream again. And who we got here? Morning, Bradley. Did you sleep well? Morning, Grandma. I kept tossing and turning throughout most of the night. I don't know. Maybe I was just excited. <laughs> of course. I mean, it's your 18th birthday, after all. You kids grew up so fast these days. I guess you're right, and I know exactly what I want. Oh? What is it? I hope it isn't too pricey. I want to... find my father. Ooh. Grandma? <sighs> I knew this day would come. Your father was indeed a curious one, always going on and on about that so-called spinel. Spinel? As in the gemstone? Yes, dear. There wasn't a day that he wasn't reading or studying about it. Then suddenly, he just disappeared without a trace. Wait, so does that mean he found it? Who knows? Most people just thought he was crazy. Did you and Grandpa? We honestly didn't know what to think. After all, this world has many secrets. This world has many secrets. The sages put us here to seek them. I remember him saying that to me once. I'm surprised you remember that. We were only three, or you were only three when he left. I always thought that it was just something he made up. And even so, his words weren't meaningless. I actually agree with him. After all, secrets only exist to be found. Bright kid for 18. You're right, dear. I just wish you would reconsider. I'm sorry, Grandma, but I have to do this. Well, if that's how you feel, then I'll not stop you. But before you leave, your grandfather got you a little something. He put it in that box to the left. Oh? He didn't have to do that. I'll be sure to thank him on my way out. Goodbye, Grandma. Thank you for everything. Now please stay safe, and if you ever need anything, we're always here. Yeah, so he's 18 and, I guess, trying to, uh, find himself. So, let's, uh... We've got items here, skills, equipment, and stats. And you move with the up, down, left, right keys. A machete was found. How oh, nice, Grandpa. And auto-equipped. That's nice. <laughs> That's fun. On the 18th birthday, someone should get a machete. And looks like we can't really do anything here. There seems to be a sign. To save your game, open the menu and select save. Remember to save often to avoid losing your data. Keep safe, Grandpa. Indeed. It's nice that he left that note for us. Let's talk to Grandma one more time. Look at my machete, Grandma! 
Please be careful, dear. Indeed. I will try not to stab myself. And... Oh, he looks like Master Roshi. Leaving so soon, Sonny? Morning, Grandpa. Thank you so much. You really didn't have to do that. Well, I figured if you're gonna looking for your father, you'll need some sort of protection. Oh, he already knew what was gonna happen. Wait, how did you know that I was... I could tell by the fire in your eyes, even when you were just a child. I had a feeling this day would come sooner or later. It seems my timing was spot on. <laughs> I don't know how you do it, Grandpa. Seems like you know everything. <laughs> a trick of the elderly, Sonny. You just keep your wits about you and remember what I taught you. And be mindful of monsters. They've been rather active lately. You may want to take these too, just to be safe. Receive two potions. Nice. Grandpa's an alchemist. Yes, sir. Thank you for everything. Oh, and one last thing. The Archive at the Guild may have some information to get you started. You should start there. Thanks, Grandpa. I will. Hmm. Got a nice little swimming hole, and, or fishing pond and everything. Remember the stuff for- I'm always checking all this stuff because you never know if there's any kind of secrets. In just most RPGs, you'll find every so often. It looks like we're good so far. The music is nice. Oh, now we are already on the overworld map. If it's one thing I hate about going through Lothlil, it's having to pass through this forest. Oh well, it could be worse. I should get going. Or Lothle. And we are probably going to run into... Oh, here we go. Slime emerged. The staple. Bradley Silver. Okay. Well, do we have any magic? Okay, apparently this kid has magic. Nice. Jolt for 7 MP. Let's go ahead and attack. We have no specials. Let's attack Slime A. For 83 damage. Wow. Bradley is quite adept for 18. Twenty-eight XP received and fourteen hold found, which I guess is the currency. And let's keep on going. Oh, it's a maze. Gotta love those mazes, man. Grab some XP. Kill all the slimes. For thirty-one damage per hit. So this is gonna be a high number game, I imagine. Which is cool. I wonder how much farming I'm going to have to do here for XP. One of the best things about games I've realized in terms of these RPGs is the ones where you're just having to... F Hello there, rats. Having to just do nothing but farm XP to get to the next area. I've never really enjoyed that. I like it where it's kind of a more natural um, progression. You go through an area, you kill all the monsters that are there, and you're able to fight the boss, you know, without having to do a whole lot of farming. Maybe a little, but not a lot. 30 XP? Awesome. Now, which way to go? Ooh, we are going to fight a lot of rats, aren't we? Fair enough. We're going to take care of the rodent problem here in the forest. They don't hit that much, and I don't know how much a potion heals for, though. That's going to be... That'll be fun to find out. Or maybe we'll level up and get back to our full health. That'll be nice. So, where are we going? Ooh, man. So many rats. You can't beat me. I'm Bradley the Rat Slayer. Everyone's got to start somewhere. Guess we'll try out magic in the next fight. So that's where we came from. So let's head north. Ah! Of course, the fight right before. We got the upper hand. So cool, we get the we get the free attack. Flawless victory. Excellent. So that's the initiative. Barrel top was found. Okay. What is that? Let's go to equipment. 
Casual clothes. Ah, shield. Awesome. Good job, Bradley. You're moving on up in the world. Use that barrel top to keep from getting nibbled to death by rats. Now, magic. Let's give this a shot. Hiya! So that's our big damage dealer. Whoops. What happened there? Did we miss? Yeah, I guess we missed. And we leveled up. So we are we are already at level three. So we probably would run around and hunt here in the forest. And I like that, that he's not a weakling right off the bat. He is somewhat capable to live in this world. But we did not uh we did not gain HP from leveling. So that is good to know. We'll probably need to take a potion here soon. Ooh, here's another chest. What we get? A potion was found. Huzzah! So now we have three potions. Our imminent death seems less imminent. Especially if it's just slimes we're dealing with. Get your goo off my sword. Huzzah. So this is a good little introduction. I bet I could break this if I had a tool or some kind. Oh well, I'll just come back later. Okay. Interesting. So we may have to come back for that. And... Yay, we're at the end of the forest. And we got, looks like the fallen Tower of Babel. And we're in a village. Hey, Bradley, happy birthday. Oh, hey, Anna, thanks. Wait, that's it? And here I was on my way to give you a happy birthday and give you a surprise, though you do seem kind of spaced out. Everything okay? I'm sorry, Anna. I just got a lot on my mind. I'm actually heading to the Guild Library. I think they have some information on my father. Wait, you never told me you were going after your dad? How could you? Calm down. I was just going to stop by your place on my way out. I never leave my best friend without telling her. Well, okay. If you put it that way, I guess I can't really stay mad. Oh, come here for a sec. Sure. <laughs> it's a trap! Close your eyes and hold out your hand. It is a trap. Okay. You received 50 hold. Nice! Anna, you didn't have to do this. I know you and your dad barely get by as it is. How did you even get this money? I know, I know. We wanted to do a little something for you because you do so much for us. I mean, you're like the older brother I never had. And even so, you didn't have to. You know, you could just say thanks, jerk. Jeez, you can be way too serious sometimes, you know. I guess you're right. Thank you very much, Anna. I'll be sure to drop by and see your dad before I leave town. Actually, if you're going to the guild, I'll go too. I mean, I'd like to spend some time with you before you go. Is that okay? Of course. Why wouldn't it be? Yay! Thanks, Bradley. Anna joins the party. Cool. Now, does she... No, she doesn't follow us. Sheep. Oh, sound effects. Nice. Moo cow. It looks like we can potentially get through there. Antidote. See what I mean? You can always find some stuff. If you just look a little. So we are in a storage house. And I'm sure the good pick-me-up was found. So that's pretty much probably the phoenix down. I would assume. I'm sure the village won't mind if I raid the barrels and coffers. None of these villages ever seem to. Always look for secrets. You may be walking over a gold mine. Indeed. I'm sure that antidote will come in handy. Now, what are you doing, ma'am? Hello there, Bradley. It's so nice today. I know... If or I know it's your busy, but can you do me a little favor? There's a little bit of um, grammar errors and whatnot, but you get the idea. Keep in mind, this is still kind of being made. What kind of favor? I need to get these tomatoes over to the diner. Would you mind? 
Sure. Thank you. Here you go. So, tomatoes. Maybe we can use the tomatoes to... Alright. Figured maybe give the tomatoes and one of the animals would move out of the way. Not the case, though. So we've got our standard in. 12 hold for one night. Would you like to stay? Um, yes, actually, I would. That way I can, we can get ourselves rested up. Cool. No sleep animation. That's sad. I always love it when you actually see them in their beds. I've liked that ever since I saw it the first time in Secret of Mana. Check the cup. Check the wardrobes. Maybe rob some guests of their <laughs> rightful gains. Bradley's 18. He's still trying to find himself. Alrighty. So that looks... Trying to find the diner. Maybe this way? Do you sell bottles? Hey there, kids. Would you like a monster card? Monster card? What are those? I believe they're cards that display information about monsters. Right you are. I'm a traveling monster card salesman. Carter's the name. <laughs> Pun. <laughs> I get it. Anna, don't be rude. It would come in handy to have a little extra knowledge about our enemies. He is Mr. Grimm, isn't he? Right again, son. I would tell you more, but I can see you two are in a hurry. Here, take this card on the house. See the slime card? And thank you very much, Mr. Carter. I'm sure it'll come in handy. Don't mention it. You two take care and be sure to drop by again sometime. Interesting. Yep, there's the chest. We must get through there somehow. And that looks like a gravestone. What we got? This monument is built to honor the Light Sage foes. Fair enough. Probably a town hero of some kind. And we are here in the shop, apparently. And... Nope, can't grab anything. Hey, Bradley, you need something? What do you got? Potions, antidotes, picks me up, requires recovers ally from death. Magic water, and special potion, gain 10% SP. Hmm. Interesting. So, we'll keep on keeping on here. And this might be the way... No, there's this is a big village. I like it. Let's see if we can spend some of our money here. Oh, they even got the blacksmith forge and everything. Hatchet. Anna Canes has a walking stick. That's good to know. That's for 230, though. The sling... And we have casual clo leather top. Ah. Bandana. And Anna's already wearing one of those. Got the barrel top. Cotton robe. And a brace. I think we may I may do a lot of this off camera. Just so I can kind of get an idea of what we're dealing with. But nothing over here. It has no doors. Why were there no doors? Or the diner, that's what we're looking for. The House of David and Anna Keynes. Hello there, David. There's the birthday boy. Hello, Mr. Keynes. Thank you so much, but you really didn't have to. <laughs> Nonsense. It's the least we could do. Hey, Daddy, is it okay if I spend some time with Bradley for a little while? We're going up to the Guild Library. Well, sure you can. Just to... or you two just go enjoy yourselves. Thanks, Daddy. Seems like a... genial fellow. I'm sure he won't mind if we go ahead and... check his, uh... house for anything that we can steal. <laughs> do 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 there's a book entitled How to Save Money here. Want to check it out? I do. Don't spend it. Thanks for reading. Womp, 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 womp. Well, I hope that book has helped you in your endeavors there, David. 
And you are guarding a door. Are those the tomatoes we requested? Ah, here you go. Thanks, here's a little something for your trouble. 50 hold and XP, excellent. So this is the diner, huh? Not even a sign. So this must be a very local place. Hello there, Bradley. What can I get you today? A uh, cup of joe. Morning, morning's best rest. Recovers 10% HP and removes sleep. Doggy bag. A good quick snack. And bread. Very cool. And who are you, sir? Eating that big fish. Man, this is good. Indeed. So she's appreciative. Huh. Alrighty. Well, I think that's this side of town explored. It's been a long time since I played an RPG like this. The water looks so pretty. Indeed, don't fall in. Well, you look completely normal here. Well, the sister looks mighty fine today. I beg your pardon? Oh, he was an albino, I think. And we didn't go over on that side either. And we've got some gravestones. Here lies Sina Silver, a strong woman and loving mother. Oh, hello, mother. Just dropping by to say hello. You okay, Bradley? Yeah, just paying my respects. Let's get going. Even had a flower there. Hmm. Well, well. I want to head back down south because I don't want to miss anything. Bradley looks like he's wearing a hoodie. So this is an interesting kind of medieval world. It's a combination of a little bit of modern with a little bit of old. Hmm. Eva Allen's house. Oh, no one's home. How convenient for us. And, I don't know, this looks like a decent book entitled Eras and Events Volume 1. There have been a total of three eras in the history of Hoven, each based on certain events in the period of time they occur. Era 1, the Era of Creation, the Era of Darkness, and the Era of Peace. The current era is the Era of Sages. So the creation lasted 10,000 years, Darkness lasted 900 years, and peace lasted a thousand years. See more in Volume 2. Out now at your latest, new, at your uh, closest Barnes and & Noble. And... No good reading at our bedside, apparently. I can respect that. And this... Ooh! Okay, that's just a dock. Magic water was found. Nice. I don't know what magic water does, but probably restores MP, I would assume. I think I actually read that in the shop. But let's check out this church with the uh, albino who seem seems to be checking out a nun. Because that's appropriate. It's <laughs> bigger on the inside. It's the Church of Tardis. Hello, child. Hi. Let's play some organ. Aw. Can't throw down any sick jams. At least there's a church with a clock now that everyone can see. This must be a big town with that many pews. I, I don't know about you. And this must be the library, but hello. How do we get over there? Can we walk on the water? But we can head over here. What's in this one? 20 hold. Excellent. Hmm. Well, let's see if we can actually... Nope. I'm sure we'll get some sort of uh, item that'll let us do that. Hello, and welcome to the Lafla Guild of Adventure and Discovery. If you have any questions, please consult with our advisor, and have a wonderful day. Thank you. To you as well. we'll sign the name on the red book. Oh, the guild has a bar. How nice. Guild work may be tough, but it has great pay. 
Feels good to be off duty for once. Enjoying some much needed R&R, &R, looks like. And unfortunately, it doesn't look like I can get a drink. Well, hello, Anna. How's my number one student doing today? Morning, Miss Allen. Ah, this is Allen. Do you have a minute? Of course, dear. What do you need? Well, my friend here needs to use your library. He believes there may be some info on his dad. Oh? And who might you be? I'm sorry I didn't introduce, introduce myself. My name is Bradley. I see. So this is the guy you keep going on about. He's quite the looker. Th teacher, stop it. What was that, Anna? Uh, nothing. Nothing at all. <laughs> You're just the cutest thing. I'm sorry, Bradley. My name, Ava Allen. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance. And you also. I don't mean to be rude, but regarding your library... Don't worry, dear. You're not being rude. Although I'm afraid I don't usually allow the public to use it. I see. But since you're such good friends with Anna, I guess it's okay. That's great news. Thanks, teacher. And thank you so much, Miss Allen. Yeah, it's no problem at all. What's your last name so I can check? Oh, we're about to have one of those scenes where the music stops. Silver. Huh? <laughs> Silver? You're Thompson's son? Yes, ma'am. Wait. I, I don't get it. What's what's wrong? Hang on a second, Anna. Do you have anything by chance? You never told her, did you? Tell me what? Your friend's dad was a... Umi... Or, okay, let's see if we can get this. Umiyaman? Umiyaman. Yeah, Umiyaman. Researcher of the sages. He was always odd, but one day he just... Snapped, so to speak. Wait, you knew him? And Umiyama, wasn't that place destroyed by a massive storm 20 years ago? You're a bright one, aren't you? Yes, I did know him. When my dad was in charge here, he would always hire him to go with him. Mind if I ask why? Not at all. They were both born in the same small village and there weren't many kids, so naturally they became friends. I see. So, what was his take on everything? I wish I could say. He never really talked about it, but I believed he saved one of his reports. Just one? I would think he would have re written at least one journal. He did, but my father said that most of his research was destroyed before he left. Hold on, I'll go get it for you. Is the town about to be attacked before I find out anything? Because that would be unfortunate. What we got here? Here you are. Thank you. I I'll read it now. What does it say? Rep 1. It's a top blank lighthouse, blank box, blank sun, blank birthday, blank code. Most of its ink is smeared. That's all I can make out. Maybe it means the old Lofley Lighthouse. I mean, that's only one around in this area. And it says sun, so it has to mean you. Looks like you've got your starting point. You should probably check out that lighthouse. Right, I'll start there. May I take this with me? Of course. If anyone should have it, it should be you. So we got the Thompson report. Thank you, Miss Allen. I'll be going now. What? Not without me, you're not. No, Anna. It's going to be too dangerous. I wouldn't underestimate my star pupil. She's young, but she has the most skill of any adult I teach. Oh, teacher, I'm, I'm not that good. Don't sell yourself short, dear. Anyone who can take on three adults in training at only 15 and win is a prodigy. Really? You never told me that. Well, it was kind of a secret. Not even Dad knows. And I suppose it couldn't hurt. Sure, I'd love for you to come with me. Yay! Well, let's go. Good luck, you two. And be careful. There are rumors of a monster at the top of the lighthouse. Let me know what you find, okay? I'll inform your father, Anna, but you may want to drop by. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for everything. Alright, so we've got our first clue to try and figure out what happened to Bradley's dad. And we'll go ahead and end it here, guys. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you liked the episode, go ahead and click like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.